Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, we're going to talk about inventions. Now what is an invention? Well, an invention is something that somebody makes that is very new and is very fresh. So for example, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and Steve Jobs invented the iPod and Bill Gates invented the PC computer. So we're going to talk about one very important invention and it's the invention that makes books, right? So who invented it? Well, let's find out. So one great invention. One of humanity's greatest inventions, one of people's greatest inventions is the printing press. Okay, so what is a printing press? In 1439, a German inventor named Johannes Gutenberg was the first European to use a printing press. A printing press is something that we use to make books, right? Today we use a printer that uh, we use today, but long, long time ago we had to use it uh, with our own energy. However, right, again, it says he was the first European, right, in Europe. However, Korea made the first printing press to use metal moving type in the 13th century. So almost 200 years <clears throat> before this, right, Korea was the first to make a metal movable type. Type is, you know, like the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A to Z. And metal is not plastic or wood or spongy. It's not soft. It's very, very hard, like steel or think of like a knife or a scissor. That's what metal is. And movable. So we can take A and B or the different Hangul letters and we can move and make our own letters. Uh, and we can move them around. The printing press uses movable types to create lines of word. So again, the movable types mean we can move the letters, right? And when we have it, we can make one line, two lines, we can make many lines with it. We just, it's like a stamp, right? Basically, movable type means like a stamp that we can use different letters for. Movable types were made with brass, iron, copper or wood so all of these materials right um, they're all very very hard materials they're not soft materials why are they hard they're hard because we have to use it again and again right we don't use the letter a one time we have to use it many times chinese characters were casted as metal pieces to print books and buddhist scriptures so casted means if we have a shape, let's say we have a shape of an A, right? And if we pour hot um, metal and it's liquid, right? We pour it and then when it's cold and it's hard again, we can take it out and we get the A, right? So we're casting a letter A so we can keep making new A's. This great invention created long time ago the books we cherish today. Cherish means we adore or we keep safe or we protect or we think is important, something we love. We all love books, right? So Korea was the first to make the first mo metal movable type and this man, Johannes Gutenberg, was the first European man to do it. Okay, on that note, right, who was the first? We're gonna see right here in 1439 Gutenberg, that German man, was blank European to use a printing press. So Gutenberg, he was the inventor. He thought of the machine and he made the machine. So that makes sense. If he made it, then nobody used it before him, right? He was the very first person to use a printing press. Right? Because he invented it, he made it, and he was the first to use it. B. Korea made the first printing press to use blank type. To use type means the letters, right? So again, we want to be able to change the letters. We want to make different words. We add an A, we take away an A, put a B. We are going to move it, right? 
And again, because we use the same letters again for different words, we have to make it something that's hard, not something that can break easily, something that will last a long time. So it is metal movable type. We can move the letters and they are made from metal, very hard material. C, the printing press uses movable types to create blanks of words. So think about a book, right? When we're reading a book, uh, it's usually more than one page. It's usually more than one sort of paragraph. It's more than one line, right? So lines of word means we, uh, we write here and then that's one line and then we go from the bottom, that's two lines, right? So we're writing lines of books or lines of a story, okay? We have three grammar questions here. A, uh, this is a past tense question, right? Before, not right now, not later. We're talking about history, long, long, long time ago, okay? Movable types, blank, made with brass, iron, copper, or wood. So again, I said this is a past tense question. So R, we can exit out, right? R is not the answer. We need a past tense question. Now we have a choice, was or were. Which one do we use? We have to look at the subject. The subject is right here. Movable types, right? We're not talking about one letter, A, finish. We're talking about many letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 26 letters, right? Many, many letters. And when we have many things, we choose were. Okay, so for example, a pencil, one pencil, a pencil was broken. Many pencils, many, many, many pencils were broken, right? So these two are both past tense, but this is for one subject, one cat, one dog, one pencil, one person, and were is for, you know, many types, cats and dogs and pencils. B, Chinese characters, we're not talking about a movie character like Po from Kung Fu Panda. He's a movie character, right? But a Chinese character means the letter or the word that they use. Like you might learn it, it's called Hancha, right? Hancha is current, uh, Chinese characters. We're casted, remember casted is when we have a shape and for example, when you make ice, right? We have a cast of ice a little plastic thing and when we put water and it freezes we can take the ice out right so we call this a ice cast this is a, a letter cast we don't make ice we make letters as metal pieces blank print books and buddhist scriptures all right so for this one this preposition i'm going to show you the answer first it's to print uh, books and Buddhist scriptures. Why is that? Well, because first we have to know what's the main verb here, the main action, right? Chinese characters were casted. We have it right here. Casted is the f main action here, right? And this is just the secondary action. We don't want to change the form of it. We want to leave it as original, right? So when we want to leave it as original, or we say the infinitive, the just normal verb, we say to print, to eat, to sleep. Okay, so for example, uh, we sleep to get energy. We play to have fun, right? So these two verbs, when we have to and the regular verb, not to printed or to printing or to print, it's just the regular verb, the normal to print, to eat, to sleep, right? Think of it like this, I like to playing, right? That doesn't make sense because we have to keep it regular. I like to play. Like would be the main verb and to play would be the infinitive. Um, we hate to do homework. 
It's not we hate to doing homework or to did homework, it's to do homework, just a regular verb, all right? C, this great invention, blank, the books we cherish today, we love today, right? So again, this is a past tense question before, right, in history. I'm going to give you a second to choose which one here is talking about the past, all right? Well, creating, it's talking about something that's happening, right, now or was happening before. That's not right, right? Create is a present tense. Every day we create new inventions. The real, the only past tense verb here is created. Because we see we have the ED here. When we put the ED, that means it is from the past, before, right? So this invention, it was created or made before, and today we cherish it. See? Cherish, this is the present tense. It's not cherished. We cherish it today, we love it today, and we created it before, all right? So uh, today we learned about inventions, right? These are all very old people, they're all adults, but believe it or not, you guys can invent anything that you can think of, really. You just have to do your homework, meaning you have to study what you want to make, and you have to really have a big imagination. All right, so today we learned about inventions, making new things, right? But these inventions, they were created by old people, by adults. So you may think that you cannot create something or invent something. However, your age or where you live or what kind of a person you are doesn't really matter because anyone can invent something new, right? So I, hopefully the next time somebody talks about a new invention created today, we can be talking about your invention. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.